Hello everyone. Um, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Maya. I'm doing a collective read here. Okay, so let's see what's um let's see for the collective reading what we got here. So I'm my protectors, my spiritual guides, my ancestors, my angels, the higher power, my higher self. Clear, clear messages to the people that need to hear it and what they need to know. For their own good. Collective, what's going on here with you guys? I'm seeing a trip, maybe to the mountains or close to the mountains. Maybe in another country that somebody wants to travel or somebody already moved or somebody's moving to another country. It's a place where there's a lot of um, forests. It could be a place where there's like a, a lot of mountains, something like that for someone here. But let's see. What's going on with the collective? Minera. What does the collective need to know right now? What else? Okay, so somebody here is a person that likes to fight a lot, a person that might have caused you a lot of like drama, chaos, or you. It doesn't matter who it is. But is it a person that caused a lot of drama and chaos, fighting, a lot of bickering at the mouth, a lot of sharp words to be said? Even sometimes, I don't know. Maybe even um, domestic violence here. I feel like some of you removed yourself from this energy real fast. I feel like there was a, a little bit of money trouble here. I feel like you got an offer from somewhere else. There it is, the double card. Listen, you got the sun card, you got the magician here, and you got the double card. So, there was a toxic person here, and I feel like they were very controlling. I feel like they were... I feel like, to be honest with you, I feel like this person um, like to touch people in a physical way. And I'm talking about domestic violence. Um, I feel like some of you are ready to move on really fast out of this energy or already moved on to faster than what you thought you could. But I feel like um, also what I'm picking up is like um, somebody's manifesting here either some spells, voodoo, magic. Witchcraft, however you want to call it, it's all the same. But with the devil card here and with the manifestation card here, somebody has done something, okay, to stop you from doing something here, or from getting you or getting you back or something like that, because your happiness is here. But I feel like your happiness is here because you want your happiness. There's a house here, full, full of drama, full of like a lot of, a lot of like um. In and out, a lot of like um, people hanging out in a house, um, possibly a lot of in and out between um, teenagers or high school kids, or maybe just a house with adults in it that's in and out, a lot of partying, a lot of drinking, a lot of shit going on. You got the uh, four cups here, a lot of drinking going on. I see a house full of people, it doesn't stop, the door is open, anybody walks in. Um, I feel like somebody lives in this home and they don't like this. It's like your happiness is being um, messed with in some way or the other. You're trying to manifest yourself to get out of this. It's a very toxic home that I'm seeing here. There could be things here happening in this home as well. You know, for you collectives, um, it's not for everybody, but there is a toxic home here. The bottom of the deck, all my cards up right. Somebody here is thinking about something. Either leaving somewhere else to someone else or thinking about something here. Um, I do feel that somebody here is going to try to come back with some gaslighting energy. Hold on a minute here. A living gasoline. Yeah, somebody here is not picking up what's going on here. You got the Ten of Swords and the High Priest in reverse. So somebody needs to go within themselves here. And really, really, really manifest your happiness. 
Somebody needs to go really in, or a few of you, or whoever, needs to go in and manifest your happiness as much as you can. You have to go with your intuition, not your gut, not your brain, not your thoughts, not what you're feeling. Sometimes we feel we're drained, we're hurt, we're angry, you know, and we can't move, but we can move. We can stand up and move. You feel me? I feel like you need to manifest more your happiness and leave everybody that's toxic from behind you because I feel like there's a lot of toxic energies here. And I feel like they don't let you concentrate. You might be a person that's very intuitive, a person that picks up things, and it's like your concentration level right now is like down. You're feeling very overwhelmed here, backstabbed. You know, very overwhelmed here with somebody here. They promised you happiness, and what they did was destroy your fucking life. This person could be addicted to many things. Many things. I'm picking up a certain thing I don't want to say here on YouTube. There could be non-medical drugs involved of here. There could be a drinking, but there's a specific drug I'm picking up here. I don't want to say it on YouTube. But it's it really fucks a person up really bad. If you want, you can put it in the comments and I will answer if that's that drug. But this person is addicted to that drug here. And it's causing a lot of problems in a family home here. Some of you are manif trying to manifest your happiness and you can't because there's a, there's a toxic energy around you that is not letting you move. Somebody here needs to believe more because there's some people here that don't believe, but they do watch tarot, but they don't believe. It's like when they shut the tarot down, it's like, okay, you know what, that came out, that came out, but that's not what's happening. That's not what's going to happen. And they notice three months or four months later, five or a year later, that's what happened in a, in a, a certain reading. You need to be, believe more. If you're watching tarot, it's for a reason. If you're watching tarot, you're watching divinators, you're watching psychics, you're watching people that read. If you don't believe, there's no reason to watch tarot. Is what I'm picking up here for some of you. <clears throat> or even believe, you know, things that are going on around, around yourself. It's more like the ego working. This could be somebody you're dealing with. It could be yourself. Let me see what else here the collector needs to know. Yeah. Somebody here came in for the bullshit. Come, somebody, the night of wands. Somebody here came for the bullshit. I feel like somebody here thought they were going to be happy with somebody. They came in with the bullshit. With like, let's, you know. I feel like they're more like... I don't know, but somebody's coming in your energy here that's very toxic. They're going to try to offer you something. I feel like you need to stand up and look more at your intuitive side. Look more at what your thoughts are telling you. Those are your guides, your protectors, your spiritual team, your, you know, everything you were born with is trying to warn you something about a person. This person's going to come in and try to come into your energy to try to um, either... Do something to somebody here because I'm already seeing it. Somebody here is sugar. Somebody here is telling somebody not to believe something. Somebody's telling somebody here, don't believe that, don't believe this, I'm right. And somebody here is letting their head control their intuition. And you can't be doing that for whoever I'm picking up here. Or you told somebody something and they didn't believe you. But it's happening. But somebody's coming in here in your energy very fast. Or they already did. And all they're going to do is put you through um, a lot of hell. If you let this person back in, they're going to put you through a lot of hell here. But they're coming very fast here. They might be showing up on your doorstep in the next three days. There's a lot of pain here. A lot of um, backstabbings. You need to go into your higher self. You need to see what the darkness has put you in. So you can make it to your light. So you can make it to your happiness here. We're not going to be completely happy. None of us. All day long. We're, we live on earth, you know. Two o'clock is two zero zeros on the clock. Look up that angel number for a reason. You know, we're not going to always be happy. We have things that don't make us happy. But there's, very, there's a very, very conniving energy here. It's like they start fights wherever they go. They start fights in a home. They start fights with everybody. They sugar, They Why do I keep on saying sugarcoat? Maybe somebody's sugarcoating their mouth and they don't want to say nothing. But some of you are moving very slowly out of this energy. But some of you are moving fast. So you hold ass. But I feel like where you went next, whether it's a family's house, a roommate's house, a friend's house, whatever it is, there's a lot of issues going on there too. This could be a person's house, a family member's house, or a friend's house. Let me see. There's a person here that's caged up. And when I say caged up, it's like 
a person doesn't want to go out or move. They just like look at the tower card on the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of things you need to break here, including that that devil energy. So there's a person here or some of you here that are stuck in situations where you cannot get out of right now. But I feel like you're gonna stand up for yourself. You're gonna move quickly out of this, or you already did. But somebody who's very, very down, depressed, and worried. Let me see. What else here for the collective? We got the emperor here. It could be a family member. It could be a father figure. It could be a stepfather. It could be just a brother. <clears throat> it could be anybody. <clears throat> but this person is causing a lot of fights here. It's like they're very strict. They're very controlling is what I say or no way. You feel me? I'm not liking that energy at all. What I'm feeling about that person, I'm not liking at all. They treat their kids bad. Whoever this is, if they have, if they have kids, if they don't have kids and it's your kids, they treat your kids bad. It's a person that's in full control of everything. It used to be a person who I'm picking up here on that card that would do yourself, and you were real good into this person walked into your energy. But there's a lot of um. There's a lot of um, arguing going on here. Let me see what else here for the collective. Yeah. Oh my God, are you serious? I was already picking it up. Or this person is. And I'm trying not to bring out the fucking craziness on my YouTube channel. Whoever this fucking emperor is. Father, stepfather, mother with a lot of uh, male energy, cousin, brother, whoever it is that's watching kids and is very controlling and starts to fight and is a person that's very violent. They could be trying to do something to kids here or has done something to kids here. It's like they look back and they don't give a fuck. There's something here that's trying to wake you up. Somebody here is not picking this up at all. They might think about it. They might just like, uh, but somebody here is not picking this up at all. That's for some of you. Cause I don't know. Now that shit's crazy. It's on top of the five of swords. There's also a person here that comes in with a lot of stability. A lot of like, you know, let's get together. A lot of like, we'll be together. I'm going to make you stable. You know, we're going to build together. But all they want is sex. And then they haul ass. And they have happiness somewhere else here. They're very toxic. You got the king of swords in the bottom of the deck. I feel like this person has told you before. But I feel like this person comes in, rips and dips and hauls ass. They might even ask you for money. Or whatever it is that you guys do, you might put all the money in and they don't put money. I feel like whoever this is, it might be a friends with benefits or somebody you kick it with. You are happy when you're with this person, but you're not happy when you're not with this person. Like You feel in some type of guilt or something after you walk away from this person or they walk away from you or whoever this is that I'm picking up on. Let me see. I feel like your friends have told you before or readers have... You've read read you've read you've seen readers tell you this before but it's like somebody's ignoring it here the ten of swords there's a lot of bad energy here the ten of swords is popping up here after the um, the ace of wands here you got the two of swords upright so somebody here was stuck and somebody here is now moving forward away from this toxic energy I feel like they've done so much thing, so many things too. It's like you can't take it anymore. I feel like somebody here either is going to court or went to jail, or somebody here knew about the situation here that I'm picking up so strongly that I don't want to talk about. But I see more in the situation about children here and this person here, whoever it is. I'm seeing more. I just don't want to say it here. It's more like a personal reading because I don't want to bring that those words are here but there's a person here that my god 
collective, some of you are moving forward. Some of you are getting unstuck. Some of you are seeing very clear now what's going on around you. You've been backstabbed too many times. I feel like you have certain family members here. Look at this. I just said stuck. You got the two of swords of, um, upside, um, flipped upside down. You got the eight of swords here. Not seeing around you. Somebody here is not seeing what this person is doing here. Somebody's stuck here. They might be doing some type of witchcraft, like I said. Voodoo. Something's happening, but I'm going to clarify that. There's witchcraft here. There is something here that this person is manifesting with witchcraft. Not to let somebody see what's going on here. Hmm. What the fuck? What else here? For the collector? Yeah. The Empress came out on top of the four coins. So, listen, you're trying to manifest your money here for some of you. You're doing good. I feel like you're sending your Empress energy for some of you. And you're not letting, you know, things get in your way. But you are struggling a little bit money. But the money's there. That's what I'm picking up. I feel like some of you here are pregnant from somebody here that you don't want to be pregnant for, from. Or you got somebody pregnant and it's there's like a regret here. Whatever you do, don't let that baby go. Whatever you do, don't let the baby go. If you're pregnant and you feel like it was wrong, let that baby live. Okay? Because it doesn't matter who it is, who it was, a mother can move on without their children. I did it with six kids. Okay? You have to, I feel like somebody's pregnant here from the wrong person here. A person that deceived them and walked away and does, you know, a lot of things with other people and it's like they don't even care. Don't have that baby. Okay? Because I'm picking it up very strongly here. Yeah, you're tired of the drama, you're tired of the fighting, you're, ti you're tired of, you know, whatever it was that was going on here. I'm picking a lot of domestic violence here. So whatever it was, if you walked out of this energy, you're doing yourself. You're standing for yourself. You're embodying all the queens inside the deck, male or female. Your energy is embodying that. I feel like at some point somebody had you stuck here, down and drained and very depressed and a lot of physical violence here. But I feel like you removed yourself from that energy here. But then again, you know, you need to really stand up for yourself here. Let me see. Yeah, on top of the sun card is the is the page of pentacles. So, you know, I feel like you're doing things for yourself with money-wise. You know, buying yourself things or possibly, like, making moves here. You got the, the, the queen of cups in the bottom of the deck. You're loving yourself more. For some of you here, you're doing good. You're, you're being happy on your own. Even if you're with somebody here, you're manifesting things for yourself. You're doing things to make yourself happy. And I feel like even though there's a little bit of depression here, I'm picking up on that energy. It's like you're making yourself happy. You're, you're doing things for yourself. You're doing things that nobody ever has done for you is what I'm picking up here. You're doing yourself. But there's somebody coming in here trying to help you here. Could be an Aries. Or you could be an Aries. The high priestess is here. You need to go in. Look, the high priestess landed under the high priest on another deck flipped upside down. You need to pay attention more to your intuition. Your intuition is going to help you move forward. It's going to help you move forward no matter what. You got to pay attention to your intuition. I feel like for some of you collectives, <clears throat> you're going within yourself and following your intuition. Following the signs. Following everything you feel or hear. You got the king of pentacles in the bottom of the deck. I don't know, but this whoever is in this energy up here. Um, I don't know, man. I feel like somebody here is going to pass away. I don't know why, and I don't want to say it, but somebody here is going to pass away. If you got somebody that's sick, if you got somebody that goes out at night, does hustling, whatever the fuck it is. <clears throat> my bad. It's like they don't want me to talk. It might be somebody that comes in and out of the house. It might be somebody that's your husband, your wife, whatever it is. Whoever lives in this home. It's somebody that brings that money, brings that money to the house. They got to be careful. Because somebody here is going to go to jail or probably um, there's going to be something where this person's going to pass on. There might be a, a big argument here and somebody's going to pull out something. I know what it is, but I'm not going to say it. 
continue doing yourself some of you collectives here you're doing yourself and you're doing it really good it's like you're not paying attention to anybody around you for some of you yeah somebody here is not willing to walk away somebody who doesn't want to walk away and there comes a chariot again here so you tried to walk away from somebody here and they did manifest i'm sorry there's witchcraft here you're trying to do yourself and manifest you walking away from somebody here. The cherry came in reverse. And there's somebody doing witchcraft here. Was not letting you move and you're not understanding it. The chariot is right here. <clears throat> if you've been trying to move away from... I'm sorry. My allergies are off the chain this week. People is off the motherfucking chain. Like, I can't even talk, breathe, or nothing. <clears throat> like, somebody's manifesting something here to walk away. And I feel like you've been stuck for a long time trying to walk away here. From somebody, but there is witchcraft involved here. There's spells done here. They've communicated with psychics. They've communicated with people that are very down low. I feel like you know this person, or you have seen yourself with this person, or somebody in the in their family. But they've manifested spells for you not to move um, on and stay stuck in their energy. What else? Yeah. Right on top of the devil card. You moving forward really fast. But the Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody here is doing witchcraft. I can't make shit up. Spells. You know, there's something fast that's going to come in into your enlightenment here. That's going to make you see forward here. This person could be a... I don't know why I'm picking up so much of a fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or that's where you are. But you got everybody here. You got Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, you got um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, everybody's here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, more Pisces here, Libra, Aries. This is, I don't know, but this, I'm picking up an energy here that's trying to walk away, trying to leave, trying to get away. And it's hard. This person will not let you leave. Why are you letting somebody hold you down? Every time you do something for yourself, they threaten you. They're going to leave you, but they don't leave. It's like they leave and come back. They walk out and pretend they're going to go do something and they just come right back. It's like they don't let you do yourself. You feel me? You need to stand up for yourself. You can't let nobody tell you what to do. What else here for the collective? The King of Pentacles. In reverse, on top of the High Priestess. Somebody here wants to move fast, but they can't. Somebody here, some of you here, are having a little bit of trouble with money, or probably a lot of trouble with money. And you're trying to make fast moves or do different things um, to make money, but I feel like you need to follow more your intuition. If something is telling you, go here, and you want to go here, you're going here, and you're not going there. You need to go with your intuitive side, what you are feeling in your gut, what we call our gut, which is your intuitive side. You got to go that way. Somebody has like a a tattoo that is like a line like this. I forgot what that's called with a circle. Somebody has a tattoo like that. I've just seen it. You got to go into your higher self to make things more clear for you because I feel like somebody here also is like not thinking right but it's like a confusing energy like you're confused about the messages you're receiving you're not you're not knowing how to take them but I feel like somebody here is very very depressed and down the tower is here on top of the ten of um swords this person has caused a lot of trouble here whatever the fuck it is with money with the family with everybody yeah it's the king of cups Male or female? Somebody somebody here been and done that. Like, they know how to come in and fuck a person up. They know how to come in and pretend they love, pretend they give, or you've been with, with this person many years. And it's like, it's those years have been for you hurting years. Not knowing what the fuck to do with this person. This person is wasting a lot of money somewhere else. The money goes fast. It goes really fast and you're questioning where the fuck is the money? Where the fuck is the money? This person's wasting money with somebody else and it could have been another person. But I feel like this person gives you a lot of problems here. It could, e it could even be a family member here. I truly, truly am picking up somebody here that knows how to do spells here. Probably. 
a person like me that knows, I don't know, they might be in religion, I have no idea. There is lots of money here. Knight of Cups. Hmm. There's two people here. Somebody's trying here. Listen, somebody, somebody's trying here. Somebody's coming in here to offer you something. You might have met somebody. You might going to meet somebody is what I'm going to say. You haven't met this person yet. I feel like somebody's going to come into your energy here and offer you something. Probably a date or what's your number. Something like that. But I don't feel like it's happening yet. And if it has happened, it was in the last few days or the f past week. But I feel like somebody here is trying to um, get you out of a situation here. <clears throat> might be a person you know. But the King of Cups is here. I feel like some of you um, collectives here are moving into a new relationship here. There's going to be a little bit of trouble here with money and there's no relationship or whatever it is that's going on here. I feel like this person has gone through the same things you have or probably even more. And you don't understand them for some reason. They've gone through a lot of shit in their life. But they have a lot of love to give. It's a person that has a lot of love. You see, there's the moon card is in the bottom of the deck. A lot of secrets, hidden things. Things they can't tell you or things you can't tell somebody because it's too painful to say out loud. You feel me? It's like somebody keeps it inside here of all the things that have happened to them. And maybe one or two people or maybe somebody knows, but they don't really open up to everybody. And when they do, it causes them more trauma moving forward. You could be meeting a person or dealing with a person like this. You can't leave them because of that. You got to help them and support them or they got to help you and support you. Because when you bond with somebody or you care for somebody or you love somebody, you're there for good or bad. You feel me? But I see some people here walking away because a person has a severe issue of trauma. I don't know who that's for, but it's very specific. Very specific for somebody here. Let me throw three more down. Give me three more. For the collective. Three more Minera. Somebody's coming into your energy here. I can't make sure that. You got the lover's card. You got somebody coming into your energy here. Let me see. And it's going to be very fast here. Yeah, you've done a lot of resting here. For some of your collectors, you're, st you're sitting like the Queen of Pentacles, male or female. You know, there's somebody that you might have met already, and you might be like, um... I don't know, but I think I'm in love with this person or, you know, little things like that. Not really love, but maybe, you know, they're falling in love with you, but they're coming in really fast here. And I, f I feel like for some of you collectives, you've you've done your fair share of resting and doing your thing. Look at the justice card at the bottom of the deck, balancing your life out. But I feel like for some of you collectives, you've done a fair share of resting. You're ready to go out and have some fun. You're ready to go out and have some fun, meet some people, get excited, bring your happiness. It doesn't matter who comes in. You're going to vibe with people. You're a very friendly person I'm picking up here. Not friendly with everybody, but you're friendly. When you're with a person, it's like you give everything you have. You're going to have a very stable relationship here. Whoever I'm picking up here, you already have it. A person knows how to build. You might meet a woman, and I'm going to say it like that. If there's a male here. Or you're a female. You're a woman of your standards. You're a woman that's what it built. You're a woman that knows what you want. You're a woman that you're very grounded to earth. You're a woman that you're very, you know, you could handle things by yourself. And I feel like a person here, maybe a male, maybe it could be a female, feels like in that type of way, you're a little bit stronger. But they have the potential to do it because they're coming in. They have the potential to do it. They're standing very balanced. Okay? So some of you are, are, are going to meet somebody here. And you're going to... Look, I cannot make shit up. I want to jump out. Let me see. There's love for somebody here. I feel like if... um There's two people here that have a commitment or have something going on. And you're having a little bit of trouble. You're going to be fine. You got the Ace of Cups here. And you got the King of Swords. The, King, the Queen of Swords in reverse. You got the Ace of um, Cups here. There's true love here with somebody. Somebody here is not talking their truth. They're not saying what they feel or what they're doing or what's going on here. I feel like they're not saying their truth to somebody here. It's like I'm picking up a very immature energy, like a cute energy, like um, almost like a very... um.
it's like an energy product like this person has trauma it's like they they don't i don't know how to say it right because i don't want to insult anybody here but i feel like that energy of like you know acute energy and it's like you know they've never had that before is what i'm trying to say i feel like you give this person that and they're they're freaking out they don't know what to do with that let me see what is collective into one here past present or future this is like a lot of like um different energies here so if it's not yours check your sign here in this channel on another channel check your moon your rising remember the rising is very important too it gives you more messages sometimes than your sun your moon your venus i do them all it doesn't matter that's enough she said no let me see from this deck is there anything here for the collective that they need to see in here anything else Anything else? That's it. So I fell on the floor. You cannot trust me. So yeah, you cannot trust this person at all. They're already telling you. Telepathy. You've picked it up already. Messages, sign, noise, synchronicity. So you are hearing messages. You are. If you're seeing the same message over and over again on TV and the radio, then you see it in, in a tag and then you see it in a car. Or you, somebody tells you like a story and that comes out. Those are messages. You're seeing numbers. Look up the numbers that you're seeing, whatever it is, spiritual, angel numbers. It brings a lot of different meanings. But noises, if you're hearing noises in your house, you're hearing noises wherever you are and it's like, what the fuck was that? Nobody could hear it. You're hearing noises of either your guides, your spiritual guides, or a past loved one here. I'm picking up somebody here strongly that either just passed away or is going to pass away. I feel like there was somebody involved here that will come around and they will either date or have sex or just like chill, something like that. This person could have been a Libra or a Taurus with the empress there it could have been a fire sign here controlling your mind with their thoughts remove the energy block it it will diminish the control there is witchcraft here there is voodoo there is they're trying to control your mind here that's the same thing as witchcraft and voodoo and spells you know when you put your mind to work and your intentions are strongly toward the person even your tongue it could work even faster than voodoo or witchcraft or any type of spell Somebody's trying to control your mind here, or you're trying to you're trying to control somebody's mind. But somebody here is being controlled with thoughts. So if you feel like a certain thought and it's not supposed to be, you're like, why the fuck am I thinking that? It's because they're trying to control your mind, diminish it, block it, block the energy. When I say block the energy, completely block it, delete everything and block it. You can't do it. I've done it to many different people. Angel number six 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 or sixty six sixty six. You need to go look up that number. So very big synchronicity here. Causing drama, making up stories, saying anything to anybody to cause problems. Clout hungry. So yeah, there's somebody here that's very toxic. They say whatever they want to anybody they want, even lies, because they're clout chasers. You feel me? They want to look good in front of everybody. But what they're doing is looking real stupid in front of people. You feel me? Because, you know, where the, you know when you cause drama, when um, you're making up stories, you're also going to make up stories with, with that person. Where the drama goes, the drama comes back. But they're causing problems here, like talking to several people here and making up stories. They, they probably made up a story about somebody here and it caused a whole commotion. I feel like there's a, a family here or a group of friends here that is very toxic. Very toxic. I love you. I do. Do you love me? Somebody here wants to know if you still love them. Or you want to know if somebody still loves you. But most definitely somebody here loves somebody. No matter who I'm with, I will always love you. I will drop everything for you. So somebody here is still in love with somebody here. And they will drop anything to do with this person. Or you will drop anything to do with this person. I feel like this person is coming around. Your energy. Fast on what you think. And I feel like there is love here. There is genuine love here between two people. And it's just something that happened. And I feel like you will be with this person again. I'm certainly picking it up. I refuse to let you be happy with anyone else. This person is very obsessed. And when I say obsessed, very obsessed with you. Whoever that is. 
friends are covering up your person's cheating. No excuses. Yeah, there's friends here that are just, just conniving as friends. Whatever your person is doing, and I feel like they're doing it with your person. I feel like they're going hang with your person, show with your person, where you're not around. I feel like somebody's not picking it up here, or you might just like be questioning it. You're not picking it up, but there's friends here, bro. That has even stuck with your person. I can't forget you no matter what I do that you put a spell on me. <laughs> right there, confirmation. No, somebody's putting spells on here on somebody so somebody can be stuck in their energy and I forget them. I'm telling you, there's spells here. I cannot make shit up. There, this is like when you tell somebody you put a spell on me in a game. Like, you know, did you put a spell on me because I'm feeling some type of way? Yeah, somebody put spells here on somebody to make them feel trapped in their emotions, trapped in their mind, trapped in their thinking about this person, trapped, you know, in their energy, you feel me? But I feel like somebody here thinks there's something good to be true here, and you're questioning, for some of you colors, you're questioning this person, but they're going to come in stable, very stable. I feel like they've had a life of drama, of chaos, about other things going on in their life, but I feel like they're changing everything around. They're embodying that empress mode right now, and they're coming your way. To love you and to be stable with you. They're coming your way, whoever I'm picking up on here. There's a lot of energies here. There's like four or five energies here. But everything, everybody has, everybody has a different story. But I feel like there's a lot of sexual attraction between two people here. Let me see. Let me throw these from me here. I don't hear one now. Is there any message here that collective needs to see or know? Because there's a lot of... Um, toxic energy here but there's also love here and new beginnings here with somebody or even a person that you just like you don't even know what to do with a person let me see give me a message here okay that's one give me two more whoa there's a lot to be said here let me see you got happiness you got Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoy each other. So, yeah, somebody here is enjoying each other. It's like somebody is coming in here, man, to offer you some love with the lover's card here. Like somebody here is willing to give you that, that, that cup, that love, but it's like they're guarded. They're very fucking guarded here. I feel like they're focusing on their money. But they're very guarded here. They've been in situations, or you've been, where you've loved so hard, or they've loved so hard, that only problems and chaos and backstabbing and cheatings. So it's hard for them to even love. They don't trust. But there is some happiness coming in here. I feel like somebody's going to bend their heart, open it, open those gates, and they're coming in. Because said here, somebody's thinking too much here. It's like over-repeated already. Somebody's thinking too much. Somebody needs to stop thinking and do it. You feel me? You got the dragonfly in the bottom of the deck. Be lighthearted. Find out things. Come into the light. Adapt. Change. Heal. Like adapt to change. If you're if you're a person you don't like change, you don't like to be meet somebody somebody new, and start new with another person. Adapt to it. Give it a try. At least a little bit, bro. Because I'm the same, and you gotta you gotta like give it a little bit. You know you don't know. Maybe that's your soulmate or that's your life partner. Let me see. There's two women here that are having problems here because of another woman here. Yeah. Girl with a snake. I cannot make shit up here. Self-indulgence. Girl with a snake. You got a lot of backstabbers here. There's a narcissist in your energy here. That's charming people to use. You know, it's like to use people for whatever the fuck they want. You got to enable this person. You got to put boundaries on the table. I feel like there's two women here having problems here from somebody else. And I feel like it's overwhelming already where you think about it all day long. And it causes problems in your own relationship because talking about it causes more problems than even being around the energy. You feel me? You got self-indulgence. Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. So always appreciate yourself no matter what's going on. You are human. You are a spirit under your flesh. You are a person that... Whatever challenges life has given you has made you who you are, but you are, you need to appreciate yourself, you appreciate yourself more and do some shadow work. It's needed for some of you uh, people in the collective. You need to do shadow work and go within yourself so you can move forward. In the bottom of the deck, mask. Not showing two feelings, hide, personality, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Yeah, there's a nurses here. It doesn't stop. It's like they don't stop. Give me a last message here for the collective here. What is, um, 
the soul desiring here in the collective. Give me another one. Give me another one. No, I got three. That's what I wanted. Okay, so you got here the unknown. So, you know, the intelligence of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe, the intelligence of different things that need to be revealed so you can move forward. Expand yourself to like the unknown, the universe, you know, things that you don't know about. Expand yourself to it. Even if you don't believe in things and certain other things, you need to go look into those things because, you know, the unknown could help you a lot. Remember, our spiritual guides and there's things that they are unknown all over this world are the ones that help us move forward. Somebody's soul or some of your souls is calling out for this. Your higher self is calling out for this. It's like, feel more of the unknown and help it. Like, bow more to it, to the infinite intelligence of the unknown. Because remember, the most intelligent beings are the ones that we can't see. Okay? Let me see. You got here love-based reality. You know, your soul wants nurturing. Your soul, you know, I feel like some of you are nurturing yourself. I feel like you're, you're giving more a little bit to your soul. And I feel like you have, some people have support from their families that do, you know, when you have a problem, you can't run to your family and talk to your family. So keep that in a very close, um, I was getting something else. I'm so sorry. Hold on. I feel like somebody here, when you're with your family or even around family, even if they're negative or positive, you feel that you need to nurture them, help them, and do the most for them. If they're not giving you, please don't go out of your way and give more than what you're supposed to give. But there's some of you here that when you surround yourself with family, it's like that's everything to you. It's like your family is everything to you besides or over anybody is what I'm picking up here. You got soul's journey. You know, let's read it because I'm picking up off, um, intuition. Okay, living from soul's open, living from soul opens me to the magic that exists when I surrender to divine manifestation on its own terms and timing. So yeah, everything is timing. Everything is universe timing. You know, everything comes when it comes. Nobody can force nobody or anything to move forward or to even give or even to bring in. You know, you have to um, open up to the magic that exists when you surrender to the divine, to the higher power, and let everything come in divine timing, okay? Don't rush anything. Don't be your, don't let yourself be rushed and don't let nobody rush you either. Okay? Just give it time. Whatever you deserve is coming. Even though you're going through a hard time, listen, we are here for a purpose and a reason. And your soul is telling you, for some of you, live from your soul. The soul is different from your spirit. If some of you didn't know that, look it up. The soul is different from the spirit. Your soul is where you're living right now. Your soul is the life you're living right now. You know, the spirit is different. Okay, so look that up if you need to know the meaning. But there is something happening here. Magic with assembly exists. I feel like um, some of you need to like surrender here more to the universe. I feel like some of you here need to um, tap into yourselves. And really go in to what you feel in your heart. In your intuition, even if it hurts. You need to go, up, go with that. It's going to make you happier, even if it takes forever to release that pain. You feel me? I love you all. I wish you the best of your luck and I'll see you later, my loves.